media will have uh, Bruce Casting up in just a minute. If you want to get in the queue to ask a question, please hit the raise hand button. Start with Dan Roach. Hey, Bruce, uh, certainly a, a tough loss. Just your assessment of uh, your team and what you saw there tonight. Well, I mean, we hung around. Certainly, uh, they were physical early on. So, you know, we battled through that. Uh, I honestly thought, our, you know, our top guys didn't seem to have it. Um, you know, couldn't find ice, uh, give Washington credit. Uh, couldn't escape pressure on the power play and, you know, and, and, find the open guy. So I said, I just think a lot of those guys that have been doing a lot of scoring for us just, uh, you know, weren't able to get to their game tonight or uh, get the puck to cooperate or support each other well enough to, to generate enough offense. I thought, um, you know, other than that, it was, like I said, uh, not really t typical of what we've seen lately from that group. So hopefully uh, game two, they're, they're a little sharper. Matt Porter. Uh, Bruce, how big of an issue were chances off the rush uh, from them? I mean, obviously, we're looking at some some bad bounces there on a few of them, but just in general, the way you guys defended uh, their rush game. Well, certainly they're good at it. Some of it is um, our gaps weren't good enough for from our D. They've got some, like I said, some good forwards, so we probably respected them too much. We made a couple of probably three bad decisions by our D to get involved in the rush when uh, probably wasn't the best time. Obviously, at the end of the second period, um, you know, there's one I think Brendan jumped up when Lazar had it and not sure what happened. All of a sudden, it's back three on one. Grizz had a pinch where he got caught outside. So some of that was was self-inflicted where you just got to make better situational reads uh, when you're going to go. Uh, and like I said, I, I thought some of that was off. I just thought as a whole, it wasn't our... You know, we didn't get to our game and, and sustain it well enough. We had it in pockets. Um, but, you know, you're in overtime, so you have a chance. You know, you got to hopefully, you know, find it then. And and basically the same goal they scored on. We had the same chance right before that. Losey had a shot, you know, got through to the goalie and uh, with a bit of a screen. And, um, you know, he made the save. And they come down had a, a similar look that just, you know, the puck had eyes. <clears throat> Kevin DuPont. What's the trouble getting inside ice on this? These guys is that is that their size or is that their mobility on the back end? Uh, size mostly, and I think that they they held the blue line well. As I said, I, I don't think we attacked them well enough. I don't think we're willing to to drive wide, turn up, and support pucks. Um, I thought our ozone spacing, our forward wasn't high enough enough to sort of stretch them out a little bit, so you could use your skill and foot speed. I mean, uh, we had a nice look from McAvoy in the second where we did it and we had a couple of, like I said, pockets of those situations, but not enough um, tonight. I just thought our offensive game was just not where it needed to be tonight. That, that's how I felt. I thought our power play wasn't crisp. Uh, it bled into our five on five uh, defensively in a D zone coverage. I thought was solid. We, you know, we kept them to the outside a couple of, you know, alluded to earlier from Matt's question, the breakdowns on the rush where, you know, some of it was rush decisions. Some of it was, you know, their ability to to get inside or, you know, get into the middle of the ice and, and challenge RD and get some slot looks. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, just uh, not, not enough on the offensive side of things. I think we weren't hard enough to play against in that regard. Joe Haggerty. Hey, Butchie. Hey, Butchie. Uh, biggest adjustment you feel like uh, you need to make going into game two? Just snap uh, thinking about right after the game is over. Well, I, I think we can be on top of them more on, on uh, with our D keeping pucks alive on rims. I thought they were too easy to back out. I thought our forwards did do a good job creating turnovers on the forecheck below the goal line. That's one area of our game I liked. Um, 
And if we can keep a few more alive with our D being on time, uh, obviously keeping them to the outside on the rush, um, as opposed to pucks getting into the middle, uh, something we'll look at. And I thought our power play, we didn't, I thought individually we didn't do enough to get away from pressure and spin out of some, some, some situations where they're coming hard at us, knowing that you typically don't finish your checks on the PK. And we were just kind of predictable where the puck was going. Um, and as a result, you know, we ended up working really, really hard just to get possession of it um, and get in the zone and where, you know, normally we're, we're a little better, you know, at breaking that with our, with our individual skill. So those are, you know, probably the three areas we'll look at. Jimmy Murphy. Hey, Coach, uh, just kind of in line with what you've been saying here, did you think, you know, the anticipation of what they were going to bring physically distracted you guys at all? No, I mean, they were hard early. I mean, Kretsch got drilled by Ovechkin and, you know, he bounced back and, you know, we knew some was coming. I thought we responded as the game went along. We, we got our share of hits in, uh, got physical to sort of match it. Um, and the end of the day, it became more of a, you know, just your typical hockey game where you had to be harder on the puck and along the walls, maybe than, than, the, than the physicalness of it. That's how I saw it, getting to the front of the net. And they had two deflection goals um, or two pucks that got to the net that, you know, rattled around and we had one on the power play and that's how eventually it happened. So that's where, you, you know, the hard part comes in. I thought early on it settled down after a couple of big hits. Uh, we answered and, and uh, like I said, after that, I thought it was, just hard hockey in terms of finding space and, and winning pucks. Last one, Chris Ryan. Hey, Butchie, uh, a couple things. It, with Craig Anderson going in, do you? Hey, Butchie, can you hear me? I can. Yeah, just uh, your thoughts on you know Craig Anderson going in, and do you think this was a, an opportunity you guys you kind of had to, to get more pucks to the net? You wanted to establish the, the puck possession game. Do you feel those – those things were kind of missing from the uh, recipe tonight. Yeah. I mean, I alluded to that earlier. I, I just, we didn't generate nearly enough, no matter who was in nets. Uh, we had two odd man rushes right out of the gate. I think Marsh and Pasta both passed them when we had good, good looks to, you know, good chances to score a goal. And usually when that happens, it tells me, okay, we're, you know, we're overpassed and we're not, you know, maybe as dialed in as we need to be. Let's find it. And I thought all night was, was a little bit like that in terms of even the low to highs, our D were, kind of wrist and shots through and they had a chance to, you know, pound pucks. And then, you know, a couple of them got through for tips, but in general, just the mentality of um, shooting and shooting hard and, and going to the net. Um, I, I thought we lacked some of that tonight in terms of overpassing and it, it's been an issue for us this year at times. So this isn't new. We'll, we'll work to correct it and uh, talk about, you know, playing off the original shot and, and arrow zone spacing as well. And, Hopefully that opens up some some offense for us because uh, I do believe that um, you know Craig hasn't played a lot of hockey for them. He's a good goaltender, and you do want to sort of take advantage of that. Now eventually we got going and had some plays around the net. Um, you know we were just off a little bit or didn't quite finish, but in general there needs to be more of that. Thank you, Coach. Uh, next up we'll have Tuka Rask. If you want to get in the queue to ask Tuka a question, please hit the raise hand button. We'll start with Jimmy Murphy. Hey, Tuka. I'm just wondering, is the way the game started off there, did, did you feel like maybe sometimes the team was too focused on the physical play as opposed to just letting the game develop? Uh, I, I don't know. It's a playoff game. I think both teams are trying to kind of establish that physicality. I don't think uh, – it was overly physical. I guess, like you said, in the first period, there's a couple of hits both sides, and then it kind of settled in. But, yeah, I, I don't know. And just to follow up, I mean, if you can just take us through the uh, the, the OT goal there. Yeah, well, it's just one time after the blue line there, I think it was going over my head or at my head or something, and then hit a, hit a stick, hit my chest, and somehow end up in the net. I think I probably bumped it into my own net or something. I didn't really see the replay, but um, that's what I – my, I would guess. Thank you. Chris Ryan. Hey, Tuka, just on that, it seemed like just a bizarre bounce, as you mentioned. <laughs> I don't think I've 
I've seen something like that you know, before where it comes off your chest and then it, it goes in the back. Just your thoughts on on the type of bounces that you, you had tonight where it just didn't seem like it was you going your way on those deflections. Yeah, I think all the goals hit a stick. Uh, that's just, you know, how, how it goes sometimes. I think goalies in general are really good in this league. So, you know, it's a tough time to beat them with a direct shot anyway. So you're going to have some screens and deflections. And today they end up having three of them. Uh, but it's just, it's hockey. But uh, I guess tough luck on me. And from your perspective, what did you see in your own end? Obviously, it's a team that focuses a lot on getting the odd man rushes and getting to, to the net. Did you like what you saw in, in your own end? Yeah, I thought we defended well in our end. Uh, obviously, a couple of times we get caught deep in the ozone and that they created some uh, uh, turnovers, not my rushes. But but I think in our end, we defended well. Uh, box outs were good and, you know, we're protecting the slot really well. So uh, it's a good building block. Dan Roach. Hey, Tuga, just kind of follow that up. What do you take from this? Obviously, you want to win game one, but, you know, what do you take from this game? Kind of the lessons you learn as you move on to game two. I don't know. That's tough to say right now. I, I, I didn't think we played bad. We're going to watch some video tomorrow, I'm, I'm sure, and, and kind of uh, learn, from, learn from the mistakes we did today and, and try to get better. But uh, I think overall, you know, obviously trying to create some offense, off, offensive chances and create traffic in front of the net, deflections, stuff like that. Um, but overall, I think we play, played a pretty solid game. Kevin DuPont. Tuka, I know I've asked you part of this question before in terms of you're approaching 100 playoff games now. I'm just curious, uh, do you go into these playoffs thinking how these playoffs go will determine whether you want to continue your career after this year, or do you already know where you're going after this season? I haven't really thought of that. I think I just try to go you know, game by game, series by series, and, and, and then you know, see – what the future brings after that. Uh, obviously there's going to be some decisions to be made, but uh, we'll, you know, we'll do that when, when the time's right now, right now, I'm not thinking that I'm just thinking, you know, game by game and series by series and uh, health to, wise, body wise, you feel, you feel good enough. You could go. Uh, play after this year. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Well, I'm not going to ask that right now. I'll talk to you after the season. You'll find out. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Our uh, last one, Matt Porter. Uh, Tuka, I have to ask your perspective as a goaltender. Um, I know you're obviously, you know, not Craig Anderson, but this guy is playing in his fifth uh, game. Can't be easy to play 45 minutes of playoff hockey and see, you know, a decent amount of rubber. What do you think that would be like to come in like he did cold? Oh, it's never easy, no matter who you are. But I think, he, you know, he's a, he's a veteran guy. He's been around a long time, so it probably makes it a little bit easier uh, in that case, but still, you know, you haven't seen that many games during the year and, you know, obviously game, game action is one, one that matters. So, uh, never easy, but you know, he, he was good today. Thanks. Thank you, Tuga. Thanks.
And last up, we'll have Jake DeBrusque. Again, if you want to get in the queue to ask Jake a question, please hit the raise hand button. If you no longer have a question, you can put the hand button down. Go to Steve Conroy. Hey, Jake, uh, just in, in general, uh, why did you think it was a, a little tougher to get inside uh, on them tonight as you, you you had been able to do earlier in the in the regular season? Uh, I think, uh, to be honest with you, probably just neutral zone. You know, they were doing a good job of kind of clogging us up there and forcing us to uh, rim pucks. And um, the way that they play their um, you know, system, kind of that's what they want us to do. Uh, it's one of those things where you got to give them credit on that side of things. Chris Ryan. Hey, Jake, just your goal. Uh, it seemed like that was obviously a significant goal at the time as kind of got you guys into the game. Your thoughts on on how it materialized and significance in that moment? Uh, yeah, it was a face-off win. I think it actually, uh, uh, to be honest, went off one of their guys, and I just tried to shoot as fast as I could. And um, uh, I didn't know where I was shooting it, so I uh, just got on it and saw it went in. Joe Haggerty. Go ahead. Go ahead, Chris. Yeah, just what was missing, do you think, from your from your game tonight? Butchie had talked about wanting that puck possession game and how important that was going to be. Do you feel like you're able to establish that tonight? Um, probably not as well as we have in the past. Uh, I think that um, you know they're they're a strong team in the walls and and they play a, a physical style, obviously. And um, it's one of those things where puck possession is key. And I think they'd say the same thing about us. Um, but. Uh, I thought there was moments where we did have it and then uh, moments where we didn't. Go ahead, Joe. Hey, JD. Uh, just talk a little bit about the, the experience and the resiliency of this group. You know, you lose one game in the playoffs here and what you're looking to see out of everybody uh, moving forward to game two. Yeah, we've been through a lot. Obviously, uh, um, you know, we've had a pretty uh, good group, group of guys here, core guys, ever since even I've been um here so uh, we understand that um you know whether it's a blowout or, or a tough loss sale count is the same and obviously uh we didn't want that result tonight we wanted to win but uh, we're looking forward to game two and hopefully trying to get the split kevin dupont dupes go ahead and unmute okay we'll go to dan roach Hey, Jake, just kind of following up with what Hag said. Uh, just what, what are the, some of the, obviously it's one game. What are the lessons that you learned from this game? Did they do anything differently that you maybe didn't expect? And, and, and how do you learn from that as you move forward in the series? Um, well, I mean, we played them eight times in the regular season and we expected high intensity. You know, it's one of those things where uh, we're opening up the whole playoffs and uh, they're playing at home. And, um, you know, obviously with fans and things like that, it's uh, it feels more normal. You know, it feels more normal in a sense, but um, we expected them to be at their best and we expected to be at our best. And I would uh, think that both teams um, would probably agree. There's a little adjustments and things that can help both sides, but um, you know, uh, I wouldn't say there's anything too different to be honest in the sense, just as more intense game and, you know, every play counts. Last one, I'll go to Jimmy Murphy. Hey Jake. I mean, like you said, I mean, there's not too much difference there, but do you feel like in a sense you let them off the mat there or let them kind of get this one? Um, I don't think we let other teams win, uh, to be honest with you. I think that they, you know, give them credit. They uh, made a good play to win in overtime and uh, they play a solid game. You know, it was a tight game, I think for, for uh, you know, for us and for them. And 
Uh, I thought there were some scoring chances either way. You know, it's one of those things where, um, like I said, there may be some adjustments going into the next game for both sides, but um, we don't let other teams win. Thanks, Jake. That'll conclude tonight's media availability.